Hello everyone, this is going to be my last video of 2018. Firstly, I'd just like to say thank you everyone who has been watching my videos through the whole of this year and subscribing and liking and everything. I've gained like over a thousand subscribers just in 2018, which is incredible and I'm really thankful for everyone's support. But yeah, about this video, so you may have seen um, an earlier video I did during the summer where I started a series of toucan paintings that I'm going to hopefully turn into a print did four of them during the summer but then I went to uni and I never found the time to actually finish the series so while I'm still at home for the Christmas holidays I decided to finish it off. So today I painted the last three that I was going to do. I think there are a few more different types of toucan but it's harder to find pictures for all of them and to reference from so I'm just going to stick with these ones because some of the others also started to look quite similar and I wanted quite a diverse set so in total I've got seven toucans painted now. And I think I'm going to leave it at that, so hopefully I'm going to get a chance to scan them all in and turn them into a print that you should be able to buy soon. I don't actually know what size print I should do. Do you guys prefer like A5 or A4 prints? It's probably the two sizes I'd be able to do. Or maybe I should do photo sizes. I realised recently when trying to buy a photo frame for an A5 print that it's like impossible. Like no shops ever sell photo frames in like the A sizes. Actually, I found A4. All the other sizes are like 6x4, 5x7, 10x8, which doesn't quite fit A5 in. I don't know if anyone else has this problem trying to find A5 frames. But yeah, just leave a comment, tell me what print size you prefer, especially if you were planning ever on framing a print, which is something I didn't think about before buying some. But yeah, I have no idea. Maybe I'll put a poll up. Yeah, I don't do those very often. But yeah, so actually, the sketching out of these tokens was definitely was the longest part of this process, trying to find references, but then I didn't really want to totally copy them, I still wanted to make them my drawings, so trying to find different poses and ways of drawing these toucans that they'd still be identified as being different to the others. Um, it was quite a fun process though, but the actual painting I only took, I think I did all three paintings in under an hour. I was looking back through the footage and I put it all in and it was like an hour long, and I was like wow. So yeah, though this kind of painting does not take very long. Um, I think I should remember that when I try to do stuff like this again. It's not going to be something that's going to take me all day. When I put my mind to it, I can actually paint quite fast. <laughs> I think that's all I've got to say for this video. Oh, um, if you were wondering about the materials, especially the paints that I was using, I will link the first video I did. I went into more depth about the paints and I showed you them like individually. As a quick overview though, I've been using the Windsor Newton gouache paints and the De La Rowney Designers gouache. My go-to gouache paints are all really nice. The brushes, I think most of them are from De La Rowney, but they're just like random ones that I've got on various occasions. So thank you very much for watching, I hope everyone has a lovely new year. Yeah, all the new things are going to happen next year. Hopefully I'll be making more videos, who knows? Let's not say anything because I can't keep promises, but yeah, there we go. Hope you all guys have a nice day and a new year, and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.